All right, guys, today we're going to talk about my top five most dangerous knives in the collection. So first off, let's jump right into it with number five. So of course, it's going to be the least dangerous to most dangerous. Now, this first one I say is on the list for top five most dangerous knives, not necessarily because it is itself very dangerous, though it can certainly hurt you, but this is a what you call G10 tool. This one is the Senka by Black Triangle Group. And this one necessarily isn't dangerous because of its damage to you, because it's not super sharp, but these things in certain applications and in certain places can get you in a lot of trouble. And so legally speaking, this might be the most dangerous knife on the list because it is designed to bypass laws. It's designed to bypass things and give you a self-defense tool. Now, I think self-defense is a God-given right, so that's why I have one. But legally speaking, it's a little more questionable. All right, so now let's get into some more of knives that I think most people consider physically dangerous. So knives that are either uncontrollable, um, that in, in my opinion, I think like what really makes a knife is that it requires a high degree of understanding to use that knife or maybe knowledge um, or maybe respect to use that knife safely. So a lot of these knives on this list have a high chance of biting you if you don't know how to use them, you don't respect them, or you don't know how to use them properly. So the first one up is the Benchmade Auto Adamus. Now my Auto Adamus is not my only uh, switchblade, so to speak. I do have many, but this one for me, I think is the most dangerous because for switchblades as a whole, no, no other switchblade in my collection has honestly fallen out of people's hands more than the Adamus. So this one just has a lot of kick to it. And once again, it's very hard to express over the video. Maybe you guys can see, but this thing does genuinely, the, this knife is a handful. And when you set it off, you have to have a, you know, meaningful grip to it. That doesn't necessarily, in my opinion, make it super dangerous. Like I said, you just have to respect this knife and know what it's capable of. And once again, hold it like you're going to hold the knife, right? If you have some pansy grip on it, it's probably going to fall out of your hands. All right, next one up is going to be a gravity knife. And this is not the only gravity knife on the list, but this is, this is the Paragon Knives Phoenix. And this one, just like its brother, so I'm struggling to open it, just like its brother, the Warlock, is essentially what I would consider a almost safety version of a balisong. And what I mean by that is, you know, a balisong, when we think about it, has two separate handles that enclose a blade, and you use gravity to get that blade to come out or to, you know, to open and close. So this is basically the same principles of a balisong, but condensed into a safer version where with a balisong, as we'll talk about in just a little bit, has like a live or a bite handle and a safe handle. Um, this one, you know, like it just, the handle's split in the middle, so there's not really any live or, you know, safe handles. So you don't really have to worry about as much, and it still gives you a lot of the fun. And I will say the uh, Phoenix and the Warlock, respectively, are very fun knives to play with. Like, these knives are almost as much of a fun like fidget toy as they are an actual blade. Now make no mistake, the reason why this is on the list is because if you, very similar to a balisong, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, this thing can come out and even if you just accidentally, you know, open this a little bit, like as you guys can see here, it takes no pressure for this blade to come out. So yeah, and not to mention too, this one is double edged. So you have a sharpened edge up to here on the back side of this. So that means that you know it can bite you as it comes or falls in and it can also bite you as it falls out right so you do have to be very respectful of this knife but that doesn't necessarily make it an entirely dangerous knife and once again the learning curve very similar to the you know automatic knife like this can fly out of your hands but the learning curve to understanding how to use it pretty safely is fairly low all right, so now let's actually talk about a real ballast song. So the uh, Phoenix, as I mentioned, was kind of like a 
child's version of the ballast song. Once again, same basic features. You have two handles, you use gravity to open the blade, but this is an actual ballast song. And this is a little bit more complicated. Once again, this would be like the adult version of it. This, there's a lot more that can go wrong and you can get bit. Of course, you have your bite handle here, which the bite handle just indicates that that is the handle that the blade comes back on. So you do not want to have your hand like such um, if you are holding this. So there is that. And then you have, of course, your safe handle here, which is the handle where the blade's back hits. So you are safe to touch the blade like this. So basic principles, I'm sure this doesn't surprise anyone, but um, battle songs are definitely getting into the more dangerous area because if you don't know, um, you know, which handle you're holding or if you get confused and oftentimes, you know, with tricks, you know, when you're spinning the blade, you can do a lot of cool things, but if you're not careful, you can definitely bite yourself on one of these blades. So anyways, the ballast song makes it on to the more dangerous knives because this is definitely stepping up into more dangerous. It's also worth noting too, the illegal aspect of all three of the knives I just talked about is also a tricky thing because in a lot of states automatics are banned in a lot of states gravity knives are banned for at least personal carry you might be able to own them but you can't like carry them out on the street now luckily here in the state of Alaska you can carry any of these knives I don't necessarily recommend carrying a balisong because I think like you know balisongs are oftentimes kind of treated as like these scary knives but I mean it's just a knife you know it's not really like any more or less dangerous and in fact Honestly, I would say I wouldn't want to carry a ballast song, not because of the fact of like legality or dangerousness, but they're just kind of like chunky and hard to deploy fastly. So anyways, that is the number two on the list. Finally, coming to it is the most dangerous knife. And this one, in my opinion, I think like I did a short about this and a lot of people did agree. Some people don't agree. And once again, when I say like the most dangerous knife, I just say like the highest degree of competency or knowledge or just understanding to operate that knife. And some people might sit here and be like, oh, it's just a slip joint, right? Like, you know, it's just a little nail nick slip joint. But the problem with these guys is the fact that honestly, it is very easy to get careless and forget you know that this blade does not have a lock on it and so like when you hold something like a gravity knife you know within reason it's very easy to treat this gravity knife with a lot of respect right like it's easy to be like hey this is a you know knife that can bite me right when you hold something like an automatic you know hey this is a knife that can bite me right like it can jump out of my hand right even with the uh you know phoenix you know you know that these are knives that can hurt you right it's very easy with um, a slip joint on the other hand to get careless or reckless and forget that that blade does not have a lock and it can just slip on you now i will say luckily this one does have a very strong um, halfway detent so as you can see the likelihood of you closing this in on yourself is lower but there are plenty of knives out there um victorinox is notorious for it for not having that you know that half stop in there so it's very easy for you to just slip and close the whole blade in one motion so i will say slip joints for me any slip joint at all if it is a slip joint it is probably the most dangerous knife out there and once again that's not necessarily because slip joints are more dangerous than a balisong objectively the opening and closing of a balisong is more complex than a slip joint but it's more easy to become careless and subsequently reckless with something like a slip joint and have it bite you as opposed to a balisong um, and that's just kind of I, that's where my kind of mindset is is because once again when you hold a balisong you know like okay this is a knife that could bite me right like this is a knife that's reasonably dangerous so i should use some care when playing with it when opening it when closing it i should be you know conscious right so it's very easy to slip into a kind of careless mode with a slip joint so that's what makes it number one for me anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed looking at some dangerous knives and as always god bless and i'm out